stacks today um, is in sync with Bitcoin blocks. As you know, with the with the Nakamoto fork, we go to five second block times. It's going to make, you know, kind of a zero to one world um, where the UX gets a gigantic upgrade. It's very significant. And yeah, me and the team and our whole community really cannot wait for Nakamoto to come online. The Nakamoto upgrade represents an evolution in stacks. It represents an evolution in what's possible. And now I see that that narrative is changing where people are able to say, wait a minute, the L2 can do really amazing things. I just wish it was fast. So now with the Nakamoto release, it's going to be an answer for any person that says, wait, you can build on Bitcoin, but it's probably slow. No, not only is it secure and decentralized, but it's also fast as well. It's a major catalyst for growth, um, for trading activity for our decks. And I, I think it's also major, major pain relief uh, for fast transactions that are secured by Bitcoin. For me, always the key thing that Nakamoto unlocks is, uh, well, it's not just faster blocks, but it's kind of to create that sort of fundamental layer that you can build then that SPTC can be built on top of, right? So SPTC is basically the the BTC integration that 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 stack is going to launch, where BTC can move from the Bitcoin layer, the L1, onto the stacks, stacks L2, and other other layers from from there. And Nakamoto is like the necessary component to for SBTC to be able to be launched. And you know, as a result, like that's going to be the really exciting thing that's going to going to drive all of this all of this liquidity. So for me, Nakamoto is really exciting, but it's kind of a pre-party for, you know, for the real deal with SBTC. It represents a new era for Stack, you know, to really position itself as an even bigger player in Web3. Um, you know, five second block confirmation time is a huge improvement that addresses uh, one of the biggest pain points for users. Um, increased security through Bitcoin finality, um, I think further establishes uh, our commitment to build the most secure, you know, protocols that we can on Stacks. Um, and then, of course, all of this leading up to SPTC, which we're all very excited about. So a lot to look forward to with the Nakamoto upgrade. So uh, Stacks Nakamoto is is a huge milestone in not, not just for Stacks, but for entire Bitcoin and crypto ecosystem, because for the first time we will witness uh, complete security and finality on bitcoin so what this will allow is it will, this will allow millions of people to come and not just uh, use defi applications but thousands of builders like us to come and build complex defi applications and and cater to millions of users but while also providing bitcoin finality which has never happened before so this is game changing the nakamoto upgrade really represents the ingenuity of the stacks ecosystem the stacks community was very early to recognize that bitcoin could be a productive asset and that you want to build on top of Bitcoin. And so the Nakamoto upgrade is um, you know, an initiative that has been under development for over the past uh, 12 to, to 18 months. And so we're finally uh, close to seeing some of these benefits realized uh, for the broader Bitcoin ecosystem. Nakamoto for me is is really the, the opening of the next chapter uh, and not just for stacks and not just for Bitcoin, but for the greater uh, Web3 industry. With Nakamoto, we start to see really the unlock of the power and potential that building on Bitcoin can have, and also the power and opportunity around unlocking Bitcoin liquidity. And in bringing to light this trillion and a half dollars economy that sits dormant uh, today. And Nakamoto for me is the beginning opening of that door and also bringing things like additional security, speed, as we see transaction times reduce from 10 plus minutes all the way down to five seconds, and then start to see something like the release of SBTC uh, soon as well. That, again, brings power uh, and availability to Bitcoin liquidity. It represents uh, over a year's worth of work, but also with a lot of uh, amazing people. Um, but the Nakamoto upgrade represents a definitive transformation of stacks from uh, a side chain into a, a true Bitcoin layer two. Um, it's going to dramatically increase the transaction speed and more tightly integrate with the Bitcoin security model. The Nakamoto upgrade is really that final link in the chain of connecting that super stable, secure base layer 
into a faster, more functional layer two, but really combining the best of both worlds. So Stacks has existed for a few years now, but because of the way that it was connected to Bitcoin, it was pretty, still pretty clunky and difficult to use, especially transaction times. The Nakamoto released the way the new block production mechanism works. Uh, transactions should confirm on the order of seconds, but now we also have that Bitcoin finality to where in order to actually change the history of the Stacks chain, you'd have to change the history of Bitcoin, which is extremely difficult to do. And so now what Nakamoto really, the big unlock it gets us is it helps us to bridge that gap and get the best of, best of both worlds between scalability functionality and then stability and security and simplicity on the other side. Nakamoto upgrade is uh, its most uh, anticipated uh, event uh... I think in the history of the Stacks ecosystem, it's uh, everybody's excited about this. Uh, I am as well. Bitcoin uh, finality, that in addition with the fast um, block times, it's going to be a killer. I've, I've said like uh, Stacks is like a thing that gives Bitcoin its wings so that, you know, Bitcoin becomes more productive and go far and wide. But I think what it does, like the Nakamoto is the real wings. So, like now we can start to fly.